So I have Jmobile Studio open here. To create your first project, um, you can just click File New or click this new icon up here, and you'll get this, this um, dialog here. So the first module is just about setting up your project, setting up protocols and tags, um, and getting access to the HMI. So for setting up your project, you can define where you will have your project saved. By default, it will go to this Jmobile workspace folder, but you can change it if you want by clicking this. Um, you can change the name of your project. And once you've done that, you can click Next to select which unit size or type that your project will be developed on. So the main difference between a lot of these is just the screen size. Um, I'm going to develop for EX707, but first I'm going to pick the wrong one on purpose so that I can choose how to, or so that I can show how to change it. I'm going to pick 710. Um, we can also change the orientation here, so if you need it to be sideways or, or even upside down, this is possible as well. So I can click Finish to go ahead and load my first project here. Um, you can use the zoom in and zoom out icons to get a better view of your, your project. So this is designed for a, a 10 inch screen since I selected 710 and we can see the, the page width and height here. Um, however, this is not actually what I want. I want a seven inch screen instead. So in order to change this, and this is how you would change um, your project if if you need to scale it down to a different size screen or if you need to have it on two different types of screens. You would double click project properties and we can view all of the project level properties. Well, one of those properties is, is going to be project screen type. So within our project, we have project level properties, which is what I'm going to look at here. And back on the previous tab, we had page level properties, which are visible on the right side here whenever I'm not clicked on anything, when I'm just clicked on a page. And if I had a widget and I clicked on the widget, I would be able to look at the widget level properties on the right side here. So notice that now that I've clicked project properties, I have another tab open. This is how we, we navigate throughout our project um, by clicking our items on the left side here, and then we can navigate. Uh, by changing the tab. So first I need to locate the um, project type property on the right side here. And usually the best way to go about doing that is by expanding all of the properties. The first button here shows advanced properties, um, which will reveal some things that were previously hidden. And then the second property or the second button here expands everything. So it will show all of our, our properties here, which is what we want to have. If you scroll down and find project type, which is nested either below project or below behavior, depending on your version of Jmobile, um, you'll find project type, which has the, the screen that I just picked. I'd like to change this so I can click on the plus sign and load that dialog back up again. And now I can change it to 707 and click Finish. Um, you'll usually want to say yes to this dialog here. This is just asking me um, if I'd like to actually change the screen size. If I were to say no, then my screen would be much too large for the actual screen on my HMI. So you would usually want to say yes there. And now we can see that my page width and page height have gotten a bit smaller. Um, and my screen is now going to be scaled for uh, seven inches instead of 10. So now that I've done this, um, it's already finished in my case because my project is blank. However, if your project already had a lot of work done on it, then you might notice some widgets kind of off of the screen here. Or if you were making your project bigger, you would notice a lot of empty space that you would need to resize things to fill. There's an easy way to do that using the target zoom feature here. So to use the target zoom, we just enter in the ratio that you either scaled down from or scaled up to. Uh, in this case, it would be about 0.7, just going from um, a 10 inch screen to a seven inch screen. But you can figure out exactly what that ratio would be by um, taking the, 
the initial size and dividing it by the, the new size. So once we use that target zoom feature, the widgets will be resized for us automatically. If um, you'd rather do it manually, you can click and drag, as uh, I'll show in a little bit, to select all of your widgets and um, drag the, the corners to resize them. So I'll look at a, maybe one more thing in project properties later. But for now, I think I'm ready to close that tab. So notice that all of the tabs that we've made changes to have this asterisk, which indicates unsaved changes. I can save, but it will save only my currently open tab. So usually it's good to click Save All to make sure everything is saved before you start closing out any of your tabs. 